All right, here we go. This time for real. This time, or this this is a game called I'll Be Brave Tomorrow. This is the demo. It's from developer Ink Forge Studios with a release date of coming soon. It would be tomorrow. It's probably not. Um, who knows when it is? Okay, so we can play this with the controller and mouse and keyboard. Right, I'm going to just play with a mouse and keyboard. The controller looks different to that old one Dad has. Well, it looks like a Super Nintendo controller, and that looks like a Super Nintendo. Okay. Why do I give it to you when my birthday is next month? Probably because you're going to die before next month, child, because that is what is going on. You're a kid that's sick. Obviously, you're dying. Where's that game Dad bought me? I haven't heard of this game before. Where did Dad even find it? Let me put it in. Let's give it a go. Can't believe Dad got me this. Let's play the game. Got me. Should I play? Yes, we've already determined that it's the thing we want to do. Uh, there we go. All right. I'll be brave tomorrow. The demo. All right. I'm going to actually switch to my controller. We'll see how this goes. A mushroom uh, madness. I am a bird. Oh, that's disappointing. Uh, the art style reminds me of Scribble Nuts, which, man, I don't even know how many people remember that game. It was really popular, I feel, uh, some years ago. Um, because it was really cool. Like, the idea of it was you could, like, draw a whole bunch of stuff to get things done. Um, you know, you could be like, oh, I want to fly. Which was, like, pretty cool. Um, so in order to fly, you could just, you know, you could write that you had wings, you could write that you were, um, a bird or, or whatever. You could write you were a Superman. It, anyway, obviously, very, um, uh, different title uh, than this right here. This is a game about a bird. It looks nice, though. Like, I'm, I'm going to say that I do enjoy the, um, the art style here. I just think it reminds me of Scribble Dots. nice healing mechanic and the platforming is pretty decent as well like I mean it's you know a traditional kind of platformer uh, the the level design so far seems pretty decent no complaints there uh, we're back in the hospital bed I guess we quit playing Fred the frog my greenest best friend I used to speak to him when I was little hi Robin Fred Robin, how come you can speak to me again? Well, I thought you could do with some company being stuck in here. Oh, well, yeah. Thanks, Fred. It's okay, buddy. Hey, want to hear a secret? Go on. What about the game of yours? I'll see you then. Oh, Fred disappeared. Was I imagining that? I don't remember Mum or Dad bringing me here or him here. Oh wow, I've been in. Been in here for like a couple of months. I wonder what other things I can play with in here. Well, let's play with the salad. Like, why would you play with anything else? Um, let's make something. Make a wad of paper. Oh, we made a paper airplane. That's so cool. I uh, would like to throw around the paper plane. Throw the planes into the sky and get them into the bin shooting confetti to get a point. Sweet. I feel like that should have counted when I when I got in there before. How many pieces of paper did I did I use? I feel like it was a lot. 
Oh, kid, you're never leaving the hospital now. They're going to be really upset with um, how many uh, pieces of paper you wasted. I really missed skating. I wish I could have gotten out my birthday and said I was stuck in here. All right. Um, my favorite RC car. Mom bought me after this after that film came out. Hey, why don't I race around here? Sure, why not? Let's go. Drive around the room, dodging obstacles, and swerving around corners. Gotcha. Seems pretty self-explanatory. I believe this is a DeLorean. That's pretty cool. Also means this is probably the 80s, which means this kid is definitely going to die. Um, kind of unfortunate, but... Medicine wasn't all it was cranked up to be in the 80s. Alright, let's do the next level. I like that this is like a collection of um, a bunch of like mini games. done so well. Oh, Look at them trying to make me feel about it, better about the fact that I'm dying. Oh, It's so nice. I really dig the forest in the background. Yeah, it looks really nice. Nicely placed healing. Oh, you know what? It isn't like a really wholesome feeling game. Um, which I guess in the grand scheme of things it is. Aside from the fact that you're obviously dying, it's pretty wholesome. Well, I have to die because, um, I, uh, get, get, guess I got into that too soon. Kind of an interesting choice, but... Alright. Brave tomorrow. Oh, wait, we're still in this. We're in another level. Oh, I thought it was like the same. I thought we were going back to the the normal place. Jump on it. Oh, now we're killing frogs. Oh. Not okay with these turns of this this change of, of events. We were we were being so friendly and nice to everything, and just kind of going around our our area and doing our cool stuff that birds do. And um, now we're uh, trying to kill frogs. Too bad we don't do more damage based on like how far we've fallen to hit it in the head. Uh, pretty easy. Um, 
boss level thus far. Oh, my bad. I thought maybe I was uh, over far enough to do it, but I guess not. I mean, sometimes I can definitely tell, like, I am just not really um, into something as much as I think I am. Like, I like this. It's, like, nice and chill. Uh, it's very relaxing. The platforming is pretty decent. I think it's because I just don't like being a bird. Like, birds are, like, arch nemesis of the, um, you know, the different types of creatures there are. Like, I, that's why I have cats, you know, so cats can, um, you know, like, I know if my cat ever gets out, there's a good possibility it's going to eat a bird. And uh, that's kind of a win-win for me. Because I, I couldn't tell you what birds do that's good. I mean, I've, I've seen Jurassic Park. Like, I, I know that uh, if birds were, you know, big enough, they would they would certainly eat you today. Because uh, that's, what, that's what they do. It's nighttime. What do we have here? I should move that. My scarf will get dirty on the floor. Okay, we'll go move it, kid. Eh, he's not gonna do it. Hey, Fred! Hey, Robin. Sorry about that, you know, jumping on you. It's okay, Robin. I'm just happy to be able to play with you one last time. Game. Fred. Robin. I'm scared. Why? The doctors, they keep telling me to be brave. I don't want to be brave anymore. I'm done. But you've done so well. It's... Is it okay if I'd be brave tomorrow instead? Of course, Robin. It's been a long few months. Look at the clock. It's getting really late. Maybe it's best if you shut your eyes for a while. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, kid? Good night, Fred. Good night, Robin. Tomorrow. I'll be brave tomorrow. Oh, it makes my eyes water up a little bit. We'd like to thank Great Ormond Street Hospital for partnering us with the game. We'd like to pledge 50% of the Steam revenue when we release the full game. Support the amazing work that Great Ormond Street Hospital does. Thank you to everyone who supports us at Inkforge Studios and in turn the children at Great Ormond Street Hospital. Please wishlist the full game on Steam today and support our Kickstarter page. I will have a link to... Uh, the Steam page, and uh, if the Kickstarter page is on there, I'll, I'll still bet. Unlock a challenge level, get the best score, can't find challenge level, I think you might be missing some feathers then. Yeah, I'm not going to go back and get more feathers. Um, so. Well, it certainly, like, pulls at the heartstrings. Um, you know... All right, well, that's, um, that's I'll Be Brave tomorrow. Uh, like I said, I, I'll have the links in the, on the YouTube uh, description for the Kickstarter page and um, the, uh, the, the actual Steam page, which is funny because um, I don't actually have an option to click on Kickstarter page or wishlist now, so uh, then it's not going to get you anywhere. <laughs> 